The Pocky One Chip Challenge caused children to vomit, sweat excessively, their tongues turned blue, and other effects. What could go wrong after trying the Pocky One Chip Challenge? It's a challenge where you have eat a tortilla chip sprinkled with two of the world's hottest peppers and then try to hold off for as long as possible without eating or drinking anything. Relieve the pain. Over the past year there have already been reports of children suffering all sorts of ill effects and even being hospitalized after trying this challenge. And on September 1st, Harris Wallabaugh, a 14-year-old sophomore at Doherty Memorial High School in Massachusetts, tragically shortly after participating in that struggle. Although it has not yet been clearly established that the one incident led to Wallabaugh's death, the timing should have you wondering. In fact, GoFundMe page set up by Wallabaugh's family read on September 1st, my Aunt Lois' youngest son, Harris, passed away unexpectedly at the age of 14 due to a condition we suspect was complications from single chip challenge. Waiting. Basically. That day, Wallabaugh visited school's nurse's office complaining that he wasn't feeling well and showed nurse a picture of only thing he had just consumed one of Pocky chips. That's what Rebecca Carballo and Remy Tuman reported for the New York Times. She felt so ill that left school early with her family. After returning home, Wallabaugh's condition continued to deteriorate to the point where she stopped breathing, was hospitalized and eventually we would like to point out that the cause of Wallabaugh's death has not yet been determined with certainty until the autopsy, but there are already so many videos on social media of people trembling, sweating, gasping, begging for water, and otherwise looking very, very uncomfortable after eating very, very spicy chips. The Pocky website asks people to ask how long can you last before you go back? After eating the chip, he wanted them to ask the question and then share their warm comments on social media. Although such phrases have been removed from websites, searching for the hashtag one chip challenge on TikTok will bring up a plethora of videos showing people trying this single chip, which sells for 9.99, and then visibly suffering in multiple ways. Such videos have already garnered more than 2 billion total views on TikTok. So the challenge is that this challenge seems to continue. Field-grown Carolina Reaper peppers here at Meadowview Farm in Bowers, Pennsylvania are one of the two very hot pepper ingredients in Pocky One Chip. This is another situation where it's important to listen to your body. If your body reacts very badly to something, that should be a clue that it's not good for you. Although spicy food is part of many different cuisines around the world and most cases results in nothing more than a feeling of warmth and perhaps little sweating. Just about anything excess is bad. Carolina Reaper and Naga Viper are no.